President Donald Trump. Dow futures are plunging. They're down 313 points. S&P futures down 42. Mm -hmm. The momentum started to shift toward Trump overnight. You saw a Dow sell-off that was more than 800 points. Stocks went limit down, as they say, where they actually had to be halted with circuit breakers because they were plunging so hard. We've come off of those worst levels. There is selling of U.S. government debt this morning. We are trying to figure out exactly why, getting a number of reasons from investors. Stay cool. I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here to stick around. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. And here we go. Thor News presents. Everyone who dicks wants to talk about planets. Man, what a weird day. Donald Trump is now our president. Stock markets are crashing. Asterisk, California, Massachusetts, Maine, and Nevada have legalized the peace pipe. The peso collapsed for now. Wall Street is totally shocked. AFRN, totally. They couldn't see this coming. So we had a 700 coin bounce down, and then it bounced back up to 313. This is how weird my day is. Somebody left a dead fish type thing in my trunk. So I'm pretty sure it's to send a message. And yet, I'm nowhere near as scared as Democrats are of a Donald Trump presidency. As I stated before, I didn't vote, though I was surprised Donald Trump won. I just want to remind, I will admit, I thought his acceptance speech was classy, and I want to remind people that politicians say one thing on the campaign trail, but act another way when they govern. So technically, President Trump hasn't done a single thing yet. So I'd suggest we give him a chance, you know? But like I said, a lot of people on Twitter are worried that Trump is going to kill them overnight, destroy the nation, and, you know, should I repeat it again? The peace pipe has been legalized, and I don't get a sense that Trump is a warmonger, and no matter what, everything going on in my life, I'm a bit overloaded on disappointment and doom. So, take that for what you will. So we've seen people rush into treasuries, which is a sign of safety and quote-unquote volatility. The one currency that really gained today was the yen, which I thought was weird, but oh man, it's been a weird day. I felt like people were really mad at me all day. I didn't know what the hell I did. Anyway, feels a lot better now. So all I'm saying is, give the guy a chance. And try not to hate Obama so much. There's enough anger and hate around. We don't need any more. All right, so let's go in and check on futures. Boom, 309, and that's nothing. <laughs> you know, like with this stock market, you don't even really need to bat an eyelash if it's over 500 for more than two days in a row. Anyway, I wouldn't be surprised to see the markets close green by the end of the day. And right now it is about 5 a.m. Texas time. Not yet. I was gonna go get donuts though. The Nikkei is the highlight, is the big declining equity bourse in Asia, down by 5%, biggest decline since Brexit. The PEXO has been absolutely hammered, a real proxy for Trump's presidential hopes, down by 9% today. All these currencies today are falling against the Japanese yen. The yen is the haven of choice, which was expected. Big sell-off here for the Wall Street Open. A lot of action in government bonds. Check out the 10-year Treasury note yield. We're looking at levels here that we have not seen since April. As investors and Americans wake up to President Donald Trump. Dow futures are plunging. They're down 313 points. S&P futures down 42. Mm -hmm. The momentum started to shift toward Trump overnight. You saw a Dow sell-off that was more than 800 points. Stocks went limit down, as they say, where they actually had to be halted with circuit breakers because they were plunging so hard. We've come off of those worst levels. There is selling of U.S. government debt this morning. We are trying to figure out exactly